All right, and we have a really good segment with Rick's Corner today. Um, so Rick's Corner is simple solutions for common questions. And what is uh, the question that's been coming up more frequently uh, now, Rick? Okay, so one thing we've noticed very often now is uh, customers wondering how to update or change their email templates. So we've, we've encountered this question quite often, to be honest, Jason. Um, we have a process in place in order to identify automated emails, which is basically what creates this question or where this question comes from. So a lot of people using the Brilliant Directories platform are wondering um, like what, what a specific email template gets triggered in what, in, in what specific situation, right? So when, when we started discussing if we were gonna talk about this today, we came to the really realization that we actually have a, a deficit in our documentation related to um, email templates. So uh, like Jason always says, every problem is an opportunity. So we, I wanted to take this time just to let you guys know that we're definitely gonna take care of that documentation. We're gonna do um, some work on it, give it some love just to polish it up a little bit more and specify which actual automated emails are triggered with, with what specific action, Jason. Perfect. Yeah, we saw, you know, we were, when uh, Rick uh, suggested this uh, topic for the segment because of emails that have been coming into the support center, we realized that we could do a better job in helping uh, you guys identify um, what email templates are triggered. So in this segment, I think, uh, Rick, you want to show us in the meantime, uh, if you're if you're having a hard time finding the email, a good workaround and a quick way to find out uh, what emails are being sent when, correct? Yeah. Exactly correct. So that's what we're going to go through, like the process that we always recommend them doing, um, which is completing an action, copying a little bit of the section of a section of that specific email and then searching for that email template. So I'm going to walk you guys through this process. Um, we're going to use a couple of examples. If you don't mind sharing the controls with me, Jason, so that I can go ahead and share my screen. Absolutely. You got it, Rick. Yeah. Uh, if you want to show us from start to finish uh, how someone would do this, uh, that'd be super helpful. All right. So please let me know if you're able to see my screen. should be able to see the dashboard. Yep. I see that we're in the admin dashboard here. Okay, perfect. So we're going to keep using the Dog Groomers NYC website for this example. Um, and all right, so let's go ahead and, and focus on the contact us email. So what email will a user of my website receive when they submit the contact us form? All right, so this is the first one that we're gonna do. This, uh, as you guys already know, uh, this, this particular page comes by default on all Brilliant Directories websites. So it's the contact us form, very, very straightforward. So I'll go ahead and just fill this out. So Rick MC, let's go ahead and use my Rick at BrilliantDirectories.com. BrilliantDirectories.com. Right, sorry about that. Okay, just a random number for now and a random message. Hello, this is a test. All right, so now we're going to submit this. Um, this is a specific message. Again, the idea here is to identify what email template am I going to receive when I submit this form, right? So let me go ahead and click send message. It's processing the request. I saw even the uh, the recapture was taking a second to load there. Correct. There you go. So your message message has been sent. All right. So this means that right now I've successfully completed the the process of submitting a message through the contact us form of the Brilliant Directories platform. Now, as a directory owner, I want to complete this process again just to identify that email um, and that email template to be more precise. So now what I'm going to do real quick is jump to my inbox. Don't get scared, guys. It has a bunch of unopened messages. Um, all right, so let's just give it a couple more seconds till I receive that email template. There you go. So here, as you guys can see in my inbox, we have Best Dog Grooming um, NYC, which is the uh, the message that I'm going to be receiving when I submit the contact us form. Let me open up this email. I'm just going to click on this. A few things that I want to point out here, which are tips in order to search for this specific email template, is not to use information related to your own specific website. Try to copy a section of the email template that it's actually the body of 
the of the message not just your name for example not the name of the of the website because that's a variable and it's going to make it really hard to identify so in this particular scenario i'm just going to go ahead and copy this line here we have received your message and someone from our team will contact you soon All right so i'm just going to go ahead highlight that and i'm going to copy this so Control c now in order to identify this template in the brilliant directories platform let me jump back to the dashboard what I'm going to do here is navigate to emails and I'm going to go ahead and open up the email templates. This one right here. I'm going to open that up. Okay, let's just a couple more seconds. It's loading the, uh, the pre made email templates. And here we have the search field. So what I'm going to do is simply paste the section that I copied from that email template and I'm going to click search. So to search through the entire list of email templates. And there you go. It gives me the actual email template that I need to edit if I was going to go on and, and again, modify this specific default email template. So if I want to customize this, super straightforward, you click the green button that says customize, click on it, and that opens up a WYSIWYG where we have the actual body and content of the message. So here you can feel welcome to go ahead and edit this. Um, add more information if you want it, tailor it towards your own needs. So I see, I see those those per, uh, percentage signs with website name. So it would never find it if I copied my my website name from the email because that's not part of the template. The the template's using a variable for my website name. Correct, correct. So that's why you want to stick to a to a section of the email template that's specific to. Uh, specific about this message so that's why we copied this whole thing and we didn't copy the like the name and why um see groomers or, or dog groomers because it, it the system will not be able to find it gotcha gotcha um i think you had one more example you wanted to share as well right yes sir we do so the other email template that we're going to do or focus on is the newsletter sign up so when someone registers for the newsletter they're also going to be um, triggering an automated email um, and let me go ahead and scroll here down to the join our newsletter. Let me go ahead and type in my email address. There you go. So now I can indeed click subscribe now. So recabriandirectories.com. All right, let me go ahead and click subscribe now. It's processing the request. And there you go. Thank you for joining our newsletter. Okay, perfect. So this means that I have successfully added myself to the newsletter email list for this specific website. All right, so now let's go ahead and check my inbox real quick here. Let's go to the inbox again. And there you go. This is the, uh, the other, the other um, incoming email that we received. So let me go ahead and open up this message. And the same, the same thing, the same tip that I mentioned before would apply in this scenario. So we don't want to go ahead and, and copy like dog grooming NYC because that, like Jason pointed out before, it's a variable in the system. And uh, if we search for that variable, the system is not going to recognize it. So I'm just going to highlight this section here. Uh, thanks for subscribing to our newsletter. Highlight that. Let me copy that. Let's go back to the... Uh, the website that we're working on, let me open up the email templates from the email section, right? And let's go ahead and search for this specific email template. So I'm just gonna paste the information that we copied, search, so while it searches through the email templates, there you go, we have the uh, email template that I'm gonna be um, needing to edit if I was going to go ahead and edit this, of course. So now I just click customize, and the same process as before. So you can see, indeed, it uses the variable uh, website name. And here we have, thanks for su subscribing to our newsletter, which indeed is uh, it's, uh, it's enough information, but we can, of course, do better, right? Especially if you're tailoring towards your own industry. Thank you. So, yeah, this is basically the process, Jason. No, that, that's excellent. Um, I'm sure that answers a lot of questions uh, for everyone. And yeah, there is definitely a value in, in customizing uh, your email templates.